conditionals, or if sentences. As I mentioned in the introduction, there are four main types of conditionals. Let's look at their formulation. Starting with conditional zero. In conditional zero, you use the present simple in the if clause and the present simple again in the consequence clause. Then there is conditional one, first conditional. We use the present simple in the if clause and the future simple in the consequence clause. Moving on to conditional two or second conditional, where we use the past simple in the if clause and the would do in the consequence clause. And finally, we have conditional three or the third conditional, where we use the past perfect in the if clause and the consequence clause is formulated with would have done. Note that the if clause can be either the first or the second part of the sentence. You can switch the two clauses round. OK, let's start with zero conditional. To remind you of the formulation, if plus present simple, present simple. Looking at the concept of the zero conditional, it is to express a fact, something that is always true. So in this sense, it's not a real conditional. Let's look at some examples. If you heat ice, it melts. If demand for a product rises, its price rises too. It is easier to relax if you close your eyes. Note that for conditional zero, it is also possible to use when instead of if because it is not a real conditional sentence. For example, you can say, when demand for a product rises, its price rises too. Right then, let's look at conditional one or first conditional. Let's remind you of the formulation, if plus present simple, future simple. The concept of the first conditional is a present or a future situation of high probability. Note that the probability is about the probability of the action in the if clause, not the other clause. Let's look at some examples. I see her quite often. So there is a high probability that I will see her tomorrow. If I see her tomorrow, I will speak to her. Another example. They are always late. So there is a high probability that they will be late again. I will not let them in if they are late again. A final example. There can be some changes. There is a high probability of changes. If anything changes, we will let you know. OK, moving on to second conditional. Let me remind you of the formulation. It was if plus past simple would do. Now, the concept of the second conditional is to do with either a present or future situation of low probability or zero probability, a hypothesis, an unreal situation. Once again, note that the probability is about the probability of the action in the if clause not the consequence clause. 
Okay, let's look at some examples of the first case. A present or future situation of low probability. For example, I don't often see her. So, it's not very probable that I will see her tomorrow, but if I saw her tomorrow, I would speak to her. Second example, I don't think anything will change. There is a very low probability of change. But, if anything changed, we would let you know. Right, let's look at some examples of zero probability or a hypothesis. I don't have any time this week. But I can imagine what I would do if I had time. If I had some time, I would tidy up my office. Or a completely unreal or hypothetical situation. I'm not a lawyer. If I were a lawyer, I wouldn't take on this case. Note that the correct form of the verb to be to use in conditional to is were for all pronouns. In some cases was is acceptable, but it is better to keep it to were to ensure you are always correct. Okay, moving on to conditional three or third conditional. Let's remind you of the formulation. If plus past perfect would have done. The concept is very clear. A past situation. It's too late to change anything. There is zero possibility. Examples. I didn't see her yesterday. If I had seen her, I would have spoken to her. They weren't late last night. I wouldn't have let them in if they had been late. Nothing changed after you left. If anything had changed, we would have let you know. OK, let's look at some special cases. The first one is the use of would for politeness. For example, here we have a first conditional sentence. If you follow me, please, I'll show you your room. You can add would to the first part and make it sound more polite. If you'd follow me, I'll show you your room. Let's look at another special case. That's the case of imperatives and requests in conditional 1. For example, if you see John, please give him this book. So you're using an imperative in the second clause instead of future simple. Or, could you give John this book, please, if you see him? Here is a request formulated with could you. Or, if you aren't busy, may I see you for a minute? Another request formulated with may I. Now, let's look at a special case where you use may, might and could. These words can be used in the consequence clause to reduce the certainty of the action in that clause. Let's look at some examples in each conditional. For example, in conditional 1. Let's take the sentence, if I see her tomorrow, I will speak to her. This means that there is no doubt that you will speak to her if you see her. Now, look at the sentence, if I see her tomorrow, I may speak to her, or I might speak to her, 
or I could speak to her. This means that there is some doubt that you will speak to her, even if you see her. So we have reduced the certainty of the action in the consequence clause. Let's look at another example in the second conditional. If they were late again, I would not let them in. It is absolutely sure that you will not let them in. But we can decrease the certainty. If they were late again, I might not let them in. Now it is not so sure. It's just possible that you will not let them in. Let's look at these words in conditional 3. If I had had some time last week, I would have tidied up my office. It is sure that you would have tidied it up. If I had had some time last week, I might have tidied up my office. Or, I could have tidied up my office. Now, it's not so sure that you would have done that. It's just possible that you would have tidied it up. There are two things to note here. First of all, use may only in conditional one sentences. Might and could can be used in all three real conditionals. And the second thing to note is that you should avoid using should instead of will or would in a conditional sentence. For example, don't say, if I knew his name, I should say hello to him. If I knew his name, I would say hello to him. Okay, let's look at some common mistakes. Common mistake number one is using when instead of if in real conditionals one, two and three. Remember that you can use when instead of if in conditional zero. Let's look at some examples. In conditional one, when I see her tomorrow, I will speak to her. Actually, this is a correct sentence, but it has a different meaning. It means you are certain you will see her tomorrow. It's no longer a conditional sentence. Let's look at an example with conditional two. When it were a little warmer, I would go for a swim. You cannot use when in a sentence like this. It has to be if. If it were a little warmer, I would go for a swim. Let's look at an example in conditional three. When I hadn't had so much coffee, I would have slept better. Once again, you cannot use when in a conditional like this. Conditional three. It has to be if. If I hadn't had so much coffee, I would have slept better. Let's look at common mistake two. That is using will or would twice, both in the if and in the consequence clause. For example, in conditional one, saying something like, if you will come back tomorrow, I will give it to you then. No will in the if clause. So you have to change to present simple. If you come back tomorrow, I will give it to you then. Let's look at a conditional two example. You would miss the bus if you wouldn't leave now. Again, two words, and we should eliminate the word in the if clause. And use the past simple. You would miss the bus if you didn't leave now. And finally, an example in conditional three. No one would have noticed 
if you wouldn't have said anything. Once again, no would in the if clause. So wouldn't have changes to hadn't, past perfect. No one would have noticed if you hadn't said anything. And finally, common mistake number three. Mixing up one conditional with another. For example, mixing up conditionals one and two. A mistake can be, how much would it be if I pay cash? You can either change it to conditional one, how much will it be if I pay cash? Or conditional two, how much would it be if I paid cash? Another example would be mixing up conditionals two and three. A mistake can be, if you came earlier, we would have had more time. Again, you can correct it to conditional two. If you came earlier, we would have more time. Or conditional three. If you had come earlier, we would have had more time. 